Well, here's the chicken run and it's finished at last. It's taken a few weeks to get there, but it's all built by me. Uh, built the hut and the run, everything. The run's made of industrial pallets, so it's uh, pretty rough looking, but it's okay. Uh, there's a few things that I've done that I think uh, are gonna make it easier work for me. Yeah, let me explain what. Now the door obviously opens like that. I've got a lock on the outside and a lock on the inside so I can go in and lock myself in. Okay, what I've done different. I've made it so there's nowhere here on the sides that the, the mesh is on the inside so the chickens can't actually poop on these side rails. Yeah, I am going to put a, a roost across here just for them to sit in the daytime and you know view over the garden uh, the wire mesh is all stapled on and where it's joined I've used these hog ties so it's uh, very very strong around the tree I've put more mesh than is needed and it's all stapled onto bits of wood and now the chicken guard premium I think it's premium yeah premium excellent bit of kit the only thing I wish it had was Wi-Fi. If it had an app and you could, you know, see if it was open or closed uh, with Wi-Fi, that would be really good. This is a feature I, I think will be added in future because it must be something that's well requested. Okay, I made the door myself. It's aluminium, uh, both sides with a foam, with a little foam core. Uh, the ru the uh, ramp. I've actually got it on a hinge so I can lift it up, strap it up to the top there yeah, and clean underneath it without removing the, the ramp. So that's one thing that I, I wanted to include. I've put an apron around it, it's all around the outside. It was hard work because the land's sloping there so I had to dig out more soil to get there. It runs all the way around. Now, inside. Still needs to be cleaned. I did use lino on the floor. It was a pig to try and get straight, so I didn't bother. Because <laughs> you know I wanted to do that corner over there quite nice, so the so I could just pull it all forward. If you notice, there's nowhere in here really for the for them to shit on apart from the floor. Yeah, because the walls are a double walls, oh, and that one is a double wall, and this one obviously they're going into the nesting boxes. Or whatever you want to call them. I am using the deep litter method that's why the window over there is up quite high. Uh, this piece here is removable and I have two more of them here yeah so I can just turn this take take one out slot it in and, and raise it up that's why these nesting boxes are quite high. Uh, what else is there? Okay the watering which is here, 50 litres. I don't know how long that's going to last for birds, but I feel it's strong enough to put a bigger one on, but I, I don't think the platform's big enough. So uh, I think I'm just going to cope with 50 litres. It just runs through from here, all the way along, in through the coop. And I, I ran it in the coop for a reason. I, I haven't got any watering in there for them at the moment. But later on, if I want to, I can put it in. Uh, I'm trying to keep the coop dry. And there's people that say they would like watering in their coop and others say don't have it in your coop. So I'm one of the ones that haven't got it in the coop at the moment. If I, if I feel that they need it, they'll have it. Uh, now, you see there's another door on the inside. It's controlled by this wire here. Yeah, so all I've got to do is unhook it from there, lift it up, go like that, and now that door is down. So when the chicken's in the run, I can come and clean out their coop without going into the run to press the button on the on the chicken guard. Of course, if it had an app and was Wi-Fi controlled, I could do it all from anywhere. Open and close the door. Right, there is a security camera up here, and it's one that can spin round and everything and 
And I will be putting a security camera outside as well, really just to check on the chickens, make sure they're in at night and things like that. So if they're not in, I can come and close the door. But it's been, been a lovely project to work on because uh, I'm right up here in, in, in the Chirimoya tree. What are Chirimoyas, people ask? They're these fruits here. Yeah, this is a Chirimoya. So we get a lot of tree fruits falling on the ground. There's one just by the not used exercise bike over there. Uh, the other trees are actually Mandarin. Satsuma, Mandarin, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're not doing great up here, but they're, they are doing better than when we first moved in because we're watering now. So, and these are lovely mandarins, really are. And of course we've got a lemon tree here. And then I cut some steps down because I needed some more soil to cover up the apron. So now you can go down the steps come down here now the apron comes all this way you can actually see it there it's a bit of it's not buried yeah green one that way yeah so if any fox tries to dig under they're going to struggle uh, and if they do get under the chickens hopefully are in their coop by then right the window it was an old window that i just picked up out of a skip just threw it in there and put a bit of trim around it so I can actually lock it in the locked position because I've got to stop here where is it okay goes the other way yeah and I can lock that somehow there you go I can lock it in the open position so they can have it all ventilated and I put a roost up there Easy to clean. Hopefully they'll just be shitting on the floor, not on the walls. I know they can spray it, but let's see. Uh, the roof is just one of these plastic roofs. I used a bit of guttering to close the gap at the top. And there's the plug for the security camera. And of course the watering can, the watering tub there, 28 euros. Which I think is okay, you know. Didn't have a hole cutter, so I just did it with a drill. And then I found my hole cutter the next day. Watering, I've got these two cup waterers in, in there. And I also put a, a drain here, so I can always drain it off. Sloping, of course, all the water's running downhill. Let's go into the run. Now in the run, I haven't got any hay yet, I've got to pick up this white off cuts of wire because I've been making it so they can't hurt their legs. Uh, this runs downhill. These watering cups are the type when you touch the thing, it just, water comes out. The longer you touch it, the more water comes out. So the, the chickens will get used to that quite quickly because they'll see water in there and then they'll peck in there and more water will come out. But this chicken guard door, press it once, the light comes on, press it again, it goes down. I've got it set up on a timer to come on in the morning and go up in the evening, but I've also got it set on light sensor. So if the, when it gets dark, the door will go down and when it gets light in the morning, the door will go up. So it's, I think it's kind of a foolproof system that they've, they've designed, They're quite good. So press it up, and there we go up. I did weigh the door. It was well under the, the requirements of this motor, so it just sounds like the motor's struggling, but it's, it's not because I, I made sure that it was within the range. In fact, I made the inside door, which is a heavier aluminium, because uh, it's got a frame around it as well. I made that first and put it on here, and then I took it off and weighed it, and it was too too heavy for the motor. So I changed it, made a new door. 
it wasn't hard. There you go, hope you like my little video. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get the bedding and the, you know, the wood chips for the run today and maybe even buy some chickens. I'm thinking to start off with four. I think four chickens, to be honest, is enough because, you know, if, you know, if they lay an egg a day each, I'll get four eggs, uh, probably three eggs a day. Uh, and that, to be honest, is enough. You know, I don't know what we'd do if we have eight chickens and, you know, eight eggs a day. That, that could be just too much. So we're going to start off with four. Uh, straps for these. They're just this strapping type that I did for that. Chicken feeders are over here. I made these out of the really heavy duty pipe only because I couldn't find a thinner pipe in our local suppliers. They didn't have it. They've got screw caps on the top, on both of them. And down here, if you see inside, I put another pipe in so the, the feed will come down inside this inner pipe and it will come out of this hole and fill all this area up. So the birds are just bit in there, peck, 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 peck. I'm probably only going to use one to start with uh, because I can't see the point in filling both of them unless we go away somewhere. If we go away for a week, we'll fill both of them, depending on how much you know one of them lasts for. If one of them lasts a week, I might only need one. Let's see. I have got a name to go on the door up here. I'm going to put a bit of wood across here and we named it New York, New York. Yeah. After Lumina Acres in America, he's got New York City. So I didn't want to copy him. So I have New York, New York. Yeah, which is a nice little name for a chicken coop. Okay, everybody, hope you like my video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button because it really, really helps with uh, the YouTube algorithm putting my video for people to watch. Thank you very much.